Hello coders, my name is Shorya and today we are going to make a basic restaurant management system using python. We are going to start with the basics. Okay, so before we start I just want to show a quick demo of what we are going to make and it will be pure python. So if you are a beginner and you don't know much about it, you can click the description below and find the link to the full basics of python. Now, basic restaurant management system won't be, for example, uh, we you give your credit card number and you get something. It'll not be that. So before that, I can show you how it's gonna work. So I'm using Visual Studio Code. I leave a link in the description below that how you can download it. So this is the interface of our basic restaurant management system. The first thing is what you need. For example, we need a milkshake. And I want one. I do not want to continue. It says your total amount is 400 because the milkshake is of 400 rupees. Now, if I rerun this and say I need a milkshake with a quantity of two, and I don't want to continue, it says 800 because it multiplies it by two. Okay, so without wasting time, we'll begin. We'll make a new file on the desktop or wherever you want. Just give it the extension .py. Okay. So now we'll start. First of all, we need a while loop because we want the condition to be true all the time until the user says, no, I don't want to continue. Then we print out our menu. And now I won't be wasting time on the print statements. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this. Now, I leave the link for the code in the description below so you can see it. Okay, now, let me explain this. We have defined in variable A, which prints out burger of 200 rupees, okay? Now, this is really simple. It's like no, not a such a big task. So, basically, A is storing this value. So, for example, if I run this, it goes on a forever loop. Now we don't want that, we don't want the user to enter forever. So let me just close this right now. So since we gave y1, so what you can even do is, for example, you can give n the value of zero, and then over here you can say n is greater than one, till n is greater than one, and then it's gonna go into an infinite loop. We don't want that. So I'll go with one. I won't run this code right now. So what do we have here? We have a, b, c, d, e, f as our variables which store in the value of these print statements and it prints them so we have different types we have burger we have our milkshake we have french fries cold coffee pizza chips and so many things and i have mentioned all of this so you can mention it on your own it's always your wish then we say print user input now what this means is we're defining a print statement where the user can enter what he wants and now before we do that, I mean, yeah, we, we are going to do that. We need another print statement, which is going to say, what do you want? Enter in numbers, okay? You need to enter the value in numbers. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to say choice one. Basically, it's the first choice, okay? It's the first choice which the user is going to make. We can say int input. Basically, since we're making the user enter a number, we need int input. If you say only input, that means the user isn't entering a number or a float. He's entering a string. Okay, he's entering a string. Input means that, but int input means he's entering a number. Rather, I'll make this choice one. Like this. As you can do anything. It's totally your wish, but since we're gonna use this variable like lot many times, so I'll leave it with ch only. Then, now what happens over here is, for example, if I run this, it goes in an infinite loop and it doesn't let us enter. Now to solve that issue, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna indent everything back to make you show how this works. Don't forget to indent everything because Python is an indenting language and you might like 
he'll gamble up so it'll be better if you just keep in the way in the indentations and keep match still it goes in an infinite loop now don't worry about that we're gonna solve it in just a moment okay now before we do anything of like that kind i want to show you something over here yeah so what we are doing here is the same thing now you might not understand this section but i'll tell you how you can do this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say first of all we don't need a variable for this actually let's say i'll say item quantity now basically item quantity basically tell that how much quantity does the user wants now this is like totally simple while i give this a variable s and since it's an integer which the user has to enter then this will be int input now now you must be wondering i've entered but i don't get the total amount now just to tell for example rather let's just write the code first and then i'll explain we'll say ch equal equals to one because if the if it's the first option we'll say total we'll define a new variable total total plus we'll give it parentheses since this is 200 into now we need to enter this into the quantity for example i say i want a burger which is the first option i'll take it i said i need two so the 200 and s will become two there we won't do it but the user will because it says that s equals int input basically currently s will store two sorry s will store two and then it'll pass on the value over here okay now what i'm gonna do is we're gonna write now it's your wish if you're in python 2 you can put a semicolon and if you aren't you can you don't want to put a semicolon it i leave it upon you which version of python you're using the current version is 3 now what we can do is we can write else but i don't want to go in that gamble that first we write else then we write if then we write else so what i'll do is i use lf okay now this might be something really confusing but don't worry i'll tell you how it works now lf is basically a subordinate to the f okay it's like else only but the thing is we are adding if to it so that we don't have to mess up with writing else else again and again okay if and else so we use lf over here now if i go on to here remember we have put this also okay i can just input this over here okay and what happens is the same thing we use lf for everything rather using else if else if that would be like a total mess and then you won't understand anything and you can gamble up because in some versions of python there's a little bit problem with this thing going on so better you go up with movie then we'll say con basically it's a variable you can say con and whatever when it's a con you can say input basically it's taking input that do you want to continue or do you want to continue if now th this thing comes in now we are gonna write here y and n now by mistake the user presses n or he writes a no or he presses a capital n to make sure of this what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if then we're gonna put parentheses now i'll tell you why first let's write, let me write the code and then we like i'll explain it so what i'll do is i copy all of this and don't forget to put the or operator and i'll tell you why now what happens over here is for example if the user enters n or he enters small n or he enters no or he enters you can say capital n so he can enter one of these options now or means now if you like in english it means that this or this so we say if the user enters this or this or this or this we've given it many options so that it can work on we will say break now since we aren't working with normal things we are working with a while loop whenever he says we want to break the loop okay we want to break it we don't want the loop to just go on go on go on go on and in the last i'm gonna say print we can say the total 
amount is then what I can do is I can just let them put over this over here give it a space now don't forget to give it a space because it works for example if I don't give it a space and write it will come like this RS 300 we don't want it. we want a space over here like this so we're gonna give a space over here and we're gonna set total now you can I remember in the last video I said you can only concatenate strings and strings you cannot concatenate and string and an integer so what I am gonna do is I'm gonna say str over here and I'll convert this into a string don't think that for example if the value is 400 it will print like this I'll show you it won't print like this okay it will print like this only but it helps in concatenation now one more thing here you remember that we defined total now if we don't define the value of total above here over here just a second as total zero then the pra the total amount won't come correct because if you don't define this won't be zero this would be a garbage value a garbage value means it can be four it can be five it can be six so for example obviously we want a 200 an answer but it'll print out 202 or 400 it'll mess up so we give it zero okay now let's try running this this again goes now you might be thinking why is this irritating so much it's nothing it's that you've given it a while loop and it goes on forever for example let me show you just a second for example we have pr over here now what happens over here if i open my code we have written while one while one okay well and then we've done it all correct but look what happens over here is let me explain this one to you. Yeah. so what happens over here is it says while one it runs it then it goes through these variables then it says print input user then all of this blah 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 stuff and over here we're the same it's just that i ran this file and it was a wrong file so it won't, you won't mess up like this like i did and like if I mess up, what I do is keep a notepad file with you and write, for example, you're working with basic restaurant management system and all. So for example, if we run this code, let me you can open anything a terminal or a command line. Then go into the specified directory. It's an E drive. Then it's in Python. Then it's Python blurred. The name is different, the name is different. PSR. Like don't mess up like this because I have I mean I don't know where I saved the file. Okay, it's in my desktop. Sorry guys. Desktop. I'm gonna say Python BSR This says this is not correct. Because obviously here it says that the total amount, I guess. I didn't take this thing or we gambled up here. Let me see this. For example, if I run this again, why does it say invalid syntax? They must be wondering over here. Okay, I was opening the wrong file. It was a plus and so you can here, here we go. Here we go. So I want a milkshake, I wanted to do and I want to continue. So we can say we call a milkshake, our total is 800 and I want a burger and I want it says total of 1000. Let's check it out, 800 and 200. Now you can see there were, we took four, uh, like two milkshakes, 400 plus 400 and then we again took a burger of 200 rupees. And look, this is the command line property wherever you can enter like one plus one. You can add it over here, okay? So we can see it was the correct answer, okay? And okay, I think that was that was like enough for this video. We did a uh, basic restaurant management system, and hopefully everything is clear. I leave the GitHub code link in the description with the whole playlist where you can access the Python C. See you coders in the next video.